it's a uh, dark umber you can use dark brown if you want I'm also gonna do Tuscan red that's the little highlights because I want her hair to be red then I want sienna brown ochre burnt ochre and finally for the base color I'm gonna use ginger root I was gonna use white to blend in some of the stuff but I'm not so first of all I'm going over with ginger root I'm just going over the whole this is gonna be the base because I don't want to see no white in the hair so pretty much dark umber and I'm pretty much doing the outline and the dark at the same time you know I'm doing sections of hair Pretty much, you know, just get in the darker area or so first. I'm working in reverse. Sienna brown. Pretty much burnt sienna. And I'm just gonna connect those areas. Not connect, but like go over, you know, lines over those areas. The darker. See, we kind of like got the, I mean, <laughs> I'm hoping we kind of have like something of a hair thing happening here. Burnt ochre. And I'm connecting the yellow part to the brown part that we just did and leaving the least amount of yellow as possible. where I stopped taping but I'm just using burnt umber to go over the lines which is dead
let's go back to that really dark brown. Dark umber. definitely does not look like it's blonde. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get black. Really fine tip. I'm just gonna go with some really, really dark areas as in black too. Okay, now I'm doing blending. I'm gonna get the blender and just, you know, if you look look closer, you'll see little white areas. You just, you know, move around until the white areas are gone. Blending in the color pretty much. And if you, you know, right now I'm going over the brown. So the residue that's left over is a little brown, so that's, you know, it's okay. Like, you know, if you were going to scan through hair, you might drag the brown over, so clean it up on a blank sheet of paper. And now uh, I'm gonna just add, grab black real quick. And some more dark areas. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab burnt sienna. Sierra brown. Let's see what happens if I add some white right here. Maybe it's even better. There we go. Well, hey, you know. Well, well maybe all the way highlights are there too. Okay, I think her hair looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And we're gonna do the final touch to the area. Actually, you know, hold on a second, maybe we'll do a braid. One more detail. It looks good, it looks good. We're getting the color pencil blender pen. And I'm just gonna go over 